TJ Maxx I shouldn't have but I did and so I wanted to do a quick little car haul just a few things I wanted to share with you guys because I am super excited about these items now let me just first say for disclosure I know I don't need no more makeup I shared with you guys recently I've done so many hauls Christmas gifts basically to myself from my husband um, because we didn't exchange gifts. I told you guys that already this year and I did tell you guys that I was placing myself on a strict no buy and I have been doing really, really well. Um, but I did come to TJ Maxx because my friend was telling me, my friend Lisa, she tells me all the time, she comes a lot and she lives close to this TJ Maxx and she always tells me when they get like big loads of new makeup. So she asked me to come with her today and we came and I found some things that I have been wanting to purchase but been holding off on. But I did find some things here at this TJ Maxx and I have been wanting them. And so I went ahead and picked them up. So let me just quickly show you and I'll tell you what I paid for them. Um, so a couple are brushes. Now there were plenty more brushes uh, in this line that I wanted, but I only picked up two because I know I do not need any more brushes. Um, I've shared that with you guys. I am still doing my working on my decluttering and things like that. I found finally found these. I saw people showing pictures on Instagram. These are the Real Techniques Limited Edition Electric Love um, brushes. So the first one that I got is 037, which is Bad Blush. It looks like that. Um, this one I'm most likely going to use for blush or even contouring or something. Now, I guess this was a collaboration that they did with Victoria Lynn, I think is the name. Um, so they're really, really pretty. I love Real Technique brushes. I, I seen these at Ulta recently when I went and did that uh, points haul. And um, they were like $12.99 and up. So the fact that I got this for $3.99 and the powder one for $3.99, I knew this was just something I could not pass up. So $3.99 a piece. Like I said, they had other ones. I just got those two because I didn't want to overdo it. Um, I did find this e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Primer. I have heard people talking about this and saying that it's so, so good. So for $3.99, I thought you could beat it. Um, it does say here, in a cooling refresher, this hydrating vanilla scented jelly primer is all you need. It's unique jelly texture, works like glue to grip makeup to ma ensure it stays put. Minty fresh, loving ingredients. Uh, so it has hyaluronic acid, antioxidants. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to try this. I heard a lot of great things. I do have the Dew primer from them. I don't know how I feel about it because I haven't used it enough, the one in the red packaging. When I tried it, I liked it, but I have to play with it more to know if I like it or not, or if I should just pass it. So um, these next two items are from BH Cosmetics. And when they released these genres of palettes, I wanted them so bad um, because obviously I was born in the 80s, 1980, and I loved the 90s. That was like the best years for me, I feel like. Um, but the first palette I picked up was the 80s. This did retail for $9.99, which I thought was a steal. And of course, I don't need any palettes in my collection, you guys. But I wanted this because it's absolutely beautiful. I don't know if I nick that or if... Look at that. If I got just a bad one. I was trying to go through them and pick a good one. That could have just been me, so I'm not going to get be too bothered by that. So that's one. I only picked up three, so that's the first one. The next one I picked up, of course, I was so excited that they had this, was the 90s. $10 as well. The 90s was probably my favorite time of, in my life, I would say, besides, you know, after having kids and, and getting married. But that is that one. Look how beautiful that is so beautiful they and and let me just tell you guys my friend wasn't lying they had a lot a lot a lot of makeup they had morphe they had lime crime they had bh cosmetics jacqueline hill the her uh individual palette she had done 
like Bling Bloss and Armed Gorgeous, those, they had um, a lot of uh, Cara Beauty. I mean, they had a lot, a lot of stuff um, and a lot of great stuff in all honesty. And then this last one I picked up is from Makeup Revolution, iHeart Revolution, excuse me. And this is, it's this one here. This is the shadow palette. I did pay $7.99, which I thought honestly was a steal. A lot of stuff. They had a lot of Marc Jacobs and I even seen some Kevin Aquan and I mean, they had a lot. H Cosmetics lip products. Um, they had a lot, lot for, at my location. And How hard is that, Dee Dee? Okay, so it looks exactly the same, but then you have all of these palettes. Now, I know they're probably not going to be the best quality of iHeart Revolution. That's another one. I think my friend, oh man, I just nicked it. I think my friend Marilyn got this. I don't remember if she liked it or not. Um, but for $7.99, the last one. So basically you get four sh palettes. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty-one. Eighteen shadows in each. I think that's a steal. This is really cute. It says Santa OMG, I know him. Um, so I think, yeah, I remember her saying that this wasn't like she wasn't very impressed. Um, but for $7.99, I don't think that you can go wrong with that. It was e.l.f. and I do love e.l.f. Um, that I would pick that up because I saw it and it to me that was a steal of a price. Um, but yeah, I didn't pick up a ton. Like I said, there they had a lot, a lot of stuff and I definitely could have, you know, picked up more, but I had to resist. I shouldn't even got that. When we did our, redid our room and everything, um, it was very hard to store everything because of all the makeup that I have. But I also am going to be doing decluttering like I told you guys already before. I'm working on that and I'm going to be getting rid of some makeup. I'm considering if something is almost brand new, maybe trying to sell for very, very inexpensive. Um, it's not going to be expensive at all um, or just blessing somebody with it. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to come on here real quick. I'm going to start driving here in just a minute. And I just wanted to share with you guys that little uh, TJ Maxx haul that I did. I didn't even go look anywhere else because I just got stuck in the makeup because there was so much and I wanted to go through it and look at it. I did see some of the, ice, not ice, I think they're the ice cream shop palettes. Maybe not ice cream. Yes, they were. One was a bubble gum all blue and one was something else and it was, um, it was gold but somebody had put their fingers in it so i didn't end up getting that one um and i know my friend beth said she had been looking for the ice cream palettes but i don't remember which one it was and i was going to pick her up the blue one but i didn't think that she would probably want the blue one I just wanted to come on here and share that with you guys uh real quick i hope you enjoyed this little haul in the car um i see people doing these sometimes and I enjoy them myself, so I thought, why not go ahead and do that for you guys? So I better go ahead and get off here now so I can drive safely. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and let me know if you found any of these goodies. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.